Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I'm Pronogo. This is Pronogo Plays live. Coming at you live. What do people say when they normally start shows? I don't know. I don't normally start shows. This is new for me. So let's uh, let's get right into it, I suppose. Hello, people in the chat. We got Hilo Dollar X, Fetley, Christian Peterson, and Heltrix that have so far made the presence known. Welcome, one. Welcome all. Let's get right into Act 2, Hold the Line. So we've... I think uh, in the previous stream, I played the first Act 2 missions, or Monks there, so... We're finally getting into the main bits of the story, presumably. Too many guns. At this rate, it'll be over soon. I think I found a way to get help. You can reopen our portal? No. We're going to Mega Halo. What? I've discovered the Ark keeps an almost finished ring in its central forges at all times. It's an emergency replacement in case one of the other rings breaks down. Rings? You must mean galaxy destroying super weapons, right? Well, on that front, I figured out how to disable the ring's firing mechanism. We can only launch it to one of the locations of the original rings, however. Isabel, you said the Master Chief first found a ring near enough to reach. That would make it within range of a comms beacon. It could work. Anders, how long do you need? Twelve hours, if my calculations are correct. We don't have twelve hours, Professor. We might not have twelve minutes. I just can't beat that right now. I can. I'm gonna need a little help, though. Explain. Well, for starters, I need her down there with me. Isabel? Sorry, sir. I've been on the Ark a while. After recent battle reports, you should have figured out that there are rules around here. I intend to break one. A big one. We'll need to split ground forces between these two locations to buy me some time. You're taking control of ground forces now? Buy you time for what? That ship brought these monsters. Killed everyone I was supposed to protect. Now it wants to do the same to you. I won't let that happen. It's time to show them what power really means around here. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did they do that? Captain, we're on site of the Forerunner particle cannon we discovered at the cartographer. We've targeted the banished carrier, and we're ready to fire on your say-so. Do it. The Spirit of Fire wasn't built to fight a carrier like the Enduring Conviction, and we can't hold it off for long. We're locked on, Captain. The cannon's not large enough to destroy the carrier, but it will immobilize it and punch a hole through its shields. If we can stay alive long enough. That's where the second part of Isabel's plan comes in. Jerome, are you and Isabel in place? Yes, sir. We're making our approach to the banished base beneath that carrier. Good. Be ready to get Isabel inside the carrier once its shields are down. Douglas, Atriox can't afford to lose that carrier, so he'll be sending all his local forces at you to stop that cannon. I was a really big information dump. Like, we we had no prior knowledge of a lot of this stuff before this cutscene. It was, comes across as a little awkward, since obviously they have a lot of cutscenes in this game, so you would have figured that they would have dispersed this information in a more smooth way. Welcome, Emerson Jade Corpus. Uh, Heldrix says, can you fill me in on the story? I don't really know what's going on, man. Uh, so if you're familiar with the first game, well, I guess if you're not familiar with the first game, it doesn't matter. The ship we're on was in the first game, and the captain of the ship is a main character from the first game. And that human chick who was talking, Professor Andrews, she's a main character too from the first game. So they they drifted through space for a lot of years, like 37 years or something. And now here they're in a new area with new enemies and a new environment. And basically, they're, it's like Forerunner technology is the, what the planet that they're on is. 
uh, same similar to the first game. And basically, this new enemy is like trying to f destroy them as predictable, uh, as is predictable. And yeah, I think that's everything. I don't think I I missed any big thing, but. I myself don't know what these people are referencing. I think they're deliberately keeping the audience in the dark for the purposes of, like, it being a cool surprise or something when the next big plot device rolls out. Uh, protect the 400 particle cannon from the banished until it breaks through the carrier's shields. Build turrets and deploy your army across banished routes leading to the cannon. All right, well. We'll figure it out one way or another. Hey, hi, Lord Alarak. Welcome. Oh, you were already there. I already welcomed you. You get two welcomes, I guess. One for you and one for your brain. That's a confirmed hit, Professor. The enduring conviction is immobilized and not going anywhere. What's the ETA on full penetration of its shields? I'd like to estimate, Captain. This thing didn't exactly come with instructions. I'll draw as much power as I can into the cannon. But we're going to make one heck of a target. One heck of a target. Douglas, the banished carrier is Atriox's biggest weapon and only means of slipstream transport. So he'll be sending everything he can to destroy that cannon. Where are we? We've crippled their portals. The banished will have to make a traditional frontal assault using whatever local forces they have. To reach the cannon, the banished will have to pass through those choke points to the east and west. So we've set up UNSC barriers there to defend them. We need to make sure they hold fast. Well, I see we have some I've stuff. Set up monitoring equipment along each of the possible routes. So I can alert Douglas as the banished arrive. Okay. It's just a really and with Atriox redirecting elaborate tower defense. Doorway, he'll be leaving the base beneath the carrier relatively clear, giving Jerome and Isabel a chance to infiltrate it. They'll be standing by for word when you've broken through the carrier's shields. Hold the line, team. It up. Huh. It's definitely an interesting Douglas. mission. We got a confirmed hit on the carrier shield. It's gonna take a while to punch through, but it's working. Constructed. Good to hear. We're making our way now. Keep that carrier busy for us. Douglas, I'm starting to get early warning alerts on those monitors. The banished will be here soon. Constructed. I don't know which area I should be reinforcing or focusing on reinforcing. What is this? R&D. Global infantry vehicle and aircraft upgrades now have reduced cost and train time. Turrets now have shields. Wow, that's pretty Generator cool. Generator upgrade complete. And I think it would be worth it getting an upgraded turret drop so that we can basically hot drop defenses anywhere we need to, assuming we have the resources. That's a bridge token, I think? I don't know what that is. That's going to activate... Oh, it looks like it activates this bridge, so we want to make sure that the Banished don't get this area, or they'll presumably shorten the time that it takes to come from that top left area? Why are they cooling in the sky? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, it's because they're shooting the carrier. That's a good question, though. All right, what should we get over here? I guess a garage couldn't hurt. Is there anything that these guys can garrison? For some reason, we already have allies that are... <laughs> this is the one allied unit. Ally... Add ally, one marine. I don't know. Let's just get as many uh, structures as we can. We'll also grab some more supply pads. And then I'm going to upgrade the space and get an armory for upgrades. I guess that should be upgraded too. Banish will be here soon. Not soon enough, apparently. I'm gonna send the uh, warthog over here so I can get this power. I don't know if there's any other stuff. East barricade. So presumably they'll just start shooting at this stuff when they get here. So we want to avoid that. Generator upgrade complete. I just don't know where they're primarily going to come from. I don't know. My hog is ready for the full tour, sir. Don't say hog. I feel sorry for you. You clearly didn't get paid enough. I earned a leader point for not doing anything, guys. Infantry coming in from the north. Hope there were some bad guys inside of that. Okay. Well, I don't have any turrets in that area, so that's great. <laughs> it. Fi I should have guessed. Um, infantry hard counter those air units, though. So. We've got hunters coming from the north. Oh, cool. There's a little mini base over here. I didn't even know that. Warthog ready to rock. Moving out. Okay. Let's move Douglas over here. Uh, hunters from the north means this area, but there's no miss. There, yeah, there's no turret site over there, so let's just go ahead and set up turrets in this location. Eyes on me, 
I don't know if they'll re retaliate once we attack them or not. Who knows? You ready, You're gonna attack them or? Brass seems to think you can do this, Marines. Don't embarrass me. complete. I guess we could light these explosives. We got an easy target. Sir. Or not. Go, go, go. Wow. That was a brain disabling moment if I've seen one. Got my foot on the pedal, sir. This won't take Why don't you get your foot on them? There we go. We disabled them. You have some knowledge about this game. <laughs> now, when he's talking about disabling, uh, disabling in history, he's, he's referencing the Phoenix, which. I thought I built turrets here. This is so. There's so many different turret spots that you can build. So it's pretty fucking crazy. Would you get over here? What are you doing? Taking your sweet ass time, running these guys over or something. There you go. You did it. Fuck them up. Yeah, I guess most of our cash is gonna be spent on uh. Fucking turrets. At least for the early se sequence. Oh shit, they're actually attacking. That's not allowed. Oh yeah, and then they're gonna take that uh. Yeah, okay. I get it. Uh, well, what do you want me to do about that? Oh, I do have units over here. Well, you, they don't have the grenade ability yet. So. Fuck them up. Can I turn it off? No, kill turn. Oh, I have to kill all the brutes near it for some reason. Couldn't tell you why. Hey, maybe this will work. Uh, really, they count? Come on. There we go. That's kind of cool, I guess. It's a lot of infantry focus right now, um, but that means we can't really counter with aircraft. Well, they don't really seem to actually respond. So, let me go to barracks. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, I have a new point. What do I do with this? I guess that. It's fine. Douglas, zero four two reporting, sir. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm gonna need need to leave Douglas there. I think these turrets should slowly pick off all these units, and then we can build these. Armory constructed. Is this AI interactive? No, not so far. Cause I well, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really seem like it to me. Um, is there? There's got to be, like, some sort of siege thing I can get, right? I want that point ASAP. Like a siege tank of some Let's kind, go. I guess? I don't know. I'm just guessing. Leader point earned. We definitely want to get this area locked down, though. Air pad constructed. Uh, let's get a couple of warthogs here. Just give us the order. The garrison in there. Turret constructed. Douglas, oh. you have enemy infantry coming in, this time from the northeast. Wow, thanks for... It's time for a change of scenery. Move it, troops. Taking my screen and migrating it over there—it's really, really great. Hunters and infantry to the northeast. Oh shit! Lotus mine's really good. Why didn't I use that before? I wonder what the upgrade makes. Oh shit! They <laughs> yeah, they disabled my brain with that one. For real. By the way. All right, let's start getting some upgrades for our stuff. We definitely need our units to be stronger. Stand to, troops. Yeah, I think our, our turrets are handling this pretty well, though. I mean, we can drop a turret, since we have the cash. Where Can we drop a turret? No, not allowed up here, I guess. Oh, I guess we can... I don't know how long these last. Are these timed? It says... Yeah, it says temporary turret, so I don't know how long that actually is going to end up being. Oh, I'm completing a bonus objective, guys. I'm so cool. I'm so good at this game. Hey, what is this? Oh, that's Anders. I was wondering what that star on my screen was. Uh, where's my air pad? I have it over here somewhere. Uh, let's get that and that. Yeah, Douglas is handing, handling this pretty well, I would say. He didn't make a count for each second they actually shut up. Let's check our defenses and call in some more troops while we have the chance. Wait, there's only 22 minutes left and you're pausing the AI? What kind of... 
What mission is this again? This is like the ninth mission or something. The AI is really hand like I should be playing this on legendary, I guess, because the AI is really doing nothing. One way that okay, so even though the bit right now the AI is doing basically nothing and isn't really that interactive because they just spawn from off screen, one way to at least make me uh, force to me to multitask, even though it wouldn't be super interactive, is if it actually. Target those raids, troops. We can't let them through. If it, like, targeted my base or something in the downtime or... Did, did something so that I'd have to move my units around, but instead I just can do whatever the hell I want to do with no consequence, it seems. They'll wreck our barricades in no time. Let's head them off, fast! No, they're dead. Don't worry about it. Reinforcements level one researched. Hmm. We need more power, though. We don't have a lot of that. Wow, holy shit. They really are... Fucking us up here. Yeah, they're gonna break through this barricade for sure. <laughs> There's no health left on it. No, fuck. I guess I could hijack the Wraith. But... Oh, no, it's... Ah, oh, fuck. I wanted to cancel Oh, I can cancel it. Holy shit! That's broken! That is so fucked! I can just cancel that and it still stuns the struck the uh the fucking unit. That's insane. Well they're not even attacking the barricade, so this is fine I guess. I don't know if microing him around actually does anything. I can't tell for sure. I can get a nightingale or whatever that dumb unit is. Just rally them over here. Um, what do I want? Yeah. Do I want fast? Yeah, I mean, of course I want that upgrade, but I don't know if I want it more than another upgrade. Presumably we're going to get attacked by air units eventually. Um, don't. Why are they talking? Stop it. One thing that... So this game really does try to do this, right? Where they... They try to make it so, like, the AI is actually doing something. Or the... Not the AI. The, the units. They try to make them feel like real people. But the dialogue is really poorly written. And on top of it, the voice acting is really hammy. So it's like... It comes across as just really weird. Do we even have turrets over here? These guys are relentless. Like it's no, they are definitely not relentless. By the way. They actually suck. Oh, those units are dumb. This is what I need a lot, like a fleet of hornets for, I guess. Or something. Yeah, this is bad. I can't order them to like prioritize a specific target either. I guess I can use this. Well, that did nothing. Here, I'll put a turret down. One? Really? <laughs> You're sending one wraith, guys. Super scary. I don't know if I can handle that. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know if this will be able to be held or not. We have no turret slots down there, though, so we really want to hold this if we can. Oh no. Whatever will we do. This one turret will win. I don't even... Oh, I have two turrets, actually. That's a lot. Fake news, by the way. What a bizarre game. Yeah, so we're just gonna leave, like, a bunch of hornets over here to guard this. I think that's fine. We'll just upgrade them. Oh. Uh, fuck. I have all my units over here. Uh, yeah, but they're not even using it, so... I don't know what you Turret want. Upgraded. It's pretty scary. We almost lost some units. I've seen those before. Let's take it out before it levels home base. Why did they even bother? Like, does this feel really casual to anybody else? Can't imagine the Halo Starships versus Star Wars Starships game. Is that real? I didn't think the IPs were owned by the same people. I guess it would be kind of neat to have 
large numbers of enemy More units or east. of different factions or whatever. Oh, that's not allowed. Oh yeah, I never ordered up my air pad upgrade. All right, let's just replace this. Really? Come on. No? Oh my god. Directly towards our base. Looks like there's support for a locust strike. Hey, defend the base, troops. Um, why are these units so good against air? What the fuck? Those are like an optional. That, those units don't even normally exist. I'm pretty sure. Let's get Douglas on those guys. And do I have any support powers ready? Doesn't seem like it. I should have dropped those lotus mines, I guess. I can try and heal my units while they're holding this gate, this offensive back. Holy shit! These units just do damage to everything, I think. No. That's your job. Oh shit, I got turret drop ready, guys! See, now it's heating up. This is, uh, much more interactive. I just got really lazy, too, because I was doing nothing, basically. Fuck them up. Uh. Power ready. All right, we got this. Coming from the northeast. They're trying to split our forces. Stay sharp. Uh oh, we've got a wave of suicide grunts coming from the northeast. Head them up. Did she really say uh oh? <laughs> She's five years old, guys. <laughs> Go easy on her. Yeah, we can just fuck these guys up with hornets before they even get anywhere close. Um, let's just move Douglas down there, I guess. I hate those guys. Take them out from range. You don't want to be close when they pop. Let's go. I'm pretty sure we'll be taking them out from range. Unless they're jump jetting across up to us? No, they're not. Okay. Did we never get that we never got that uh power unit, I guess? Oh, never mind. What the fuck? These jump jet Oh, okay, cool. They're I they're not actually telling me when uh when they're targeting specific things now, which is good. Stop saying uh-oh. It's not okay. Um, okay, yeah, those are fine. Let's uh, kill these units real quick. And then I need to actually move a guy over here. Nice. That's funny. <laughs> That's so funny. Eyes on me, Marines. Oh yeah, go time. Um, who's going where? Okay. Yeah, hornets are really good on this map, I think. Or they should be. These brutes are. I think they're pretty general purpose. Like, I think they do pretty good damage to everything. Generally speaking. They're just reusing dialogue at this point. Jump boots to the east. Oh my no. 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 Bad. Bad. Are those units mostly dead? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um we should drop these lotus mines over here. You can't change their facing direction, I don't think. Maybe you can do it with like if you have a joystick or something, and just set some units over here. Start getting more upgrades for stuff. Yeah, I think horn actually just having a mobile army in this mission seems like it's way better than anything else. Um, I don't have another point yet. Oh, that thankfully that doesn't really do that much damage. It just stuns. Uh, I'm gonna leave these hornets by the nightingale for now because I think we're okay on the the turret or like the general defense thing. Are, are my combat medics healing my base? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck? I've never seen that before. Uh. 
It's crazy. Turret upgraded. I've never seen that before. Shift mouse? I've never used shift mouse for anything in my life, I don't think, but I'll try that next time. Lotus Mine's pretty low cooldown, so I should be able to use it again and find out. Uh, let's just order up more of those. Douglas, the cannon's nearly broken through the carrier shields. I just need a little bit longer. Sure thing, Professor. Think they've taken enough punishment yet? Apparently not. I'm receiving an incoming communication. It's not encrypted, and it's not UNSC. I'm patching it through. No. Little spot. I see you've recovered from our introduction. It seems you need another lesson. That was him. Matriarchs. Forget him. We need to focus on. Uh oh. On the everything they're throwing. Uh oh. <laughs> Good. Stop that one. Well, I mean, I don't think they're not going to have much that's really going to hold a candle to me, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we are good to go. Oh, I never wound up continuing to upgrade my other units, though. That's kind of an oversight. Oh, I can't upgrade. Well, I can get the Gauss Cannon now that I have the, the tech. Wow, the Lotus Mine actually did a lot of work over there. That's crazy. Unlike over here, by the looks of it. Race to the northeast. Oh, they're sending a lot of units over here. Mm. I don't think I really need to worry about it. They're sending an infantry from the east. All right. Yeah, I mean, we could just mostly patrol through these areas because as long as they don't have the light bridge in the left, we don't have to worry about them actually flanking us. This is working out pretty well, I would say. More from the mm, do we have to cover this area? I don't think so. Well, maybe we do, actually. We don't have anything over here. Just some Enemy basic turrets. That's why we use these. Now we gotta cover them. Nice. Oh, shit! It's Banish Central down here! You got it. <laughs> Don't say you got it like that. What are you trying to do? Give me a giggle? Oh shit. Bad. Bad game. Not allowed. Uh, I'm not fucking with this. Get out of my look. Get out of my sight. The shipmaster has diverted some of his air units from the attack on the spirit of fire. They're heading your way. Oh no. Researched. We need to get some anti air defenses ASAP. Turrets, Wolverines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me how to play the game some more, please. I can't actually upgrade Wolverines. I don't know what's up with that. Nightingale under air assault, please advise. Uh, I don't know. Just sit there and look pretty. Why didn't they do this sooner, right? You'd think that they would have realized that this is actually a pretty. Pretty devastating attack that we're sending on them. Alt, insert, delete. No, nothing worked. I tried every hockey on my keyboard, and except for Alt F4. Ironically. I tried a control, shift, right click, middle click, and left click, and nothing seemed to actually do anything. I'm, you probably can do it, but I don't know what it is. I'd have to Google it at some point. No. You guys gotta stop. Stop it. Yeah, let's fortify the base. Why not? I don't think we're, we're not really under a real threat, but... Okay. Yeah, I think we're still stuck on... Uh... Two... Yeah, we're still stuck on... Two pairs of, uh... Or, like, two options... For our upgrades. Like, we can only get tier two upgrades for anything at this point in the campaign. They almost completely started sending ground units. This is the first ground unit they've sent in a long time. There's also all those Phoenix logs that I didn't collect, but I don't really give a shit about them. There's like these pickups that are lore based, I think. They had black boxes in uh, Halo Wars 1 as well, but... I don't really find reading to be a particularly compelling way to disseminate information in video games, because they're visual media. 
Alt mouse is the usual screen rotate. Yeah, you can use alt mouse to move your camera around, but when you're trying to place lotus mines for whatever reason, you can't change their direction. They're always in the same organization or whatever. I guess maybe I should move my wolverines down here. They're never, they never attack anywhere else. Oh hi. Huh. Wow, they're actually playing the game now. I didn't think that was possible. Let's uh, swap this one out for an anti air turret. The Wolverine complaining about being attacked by enemy air units is probably the most hilarious thing I've seen in this game so far. Stop it. Yeah, you actually. Ironically enough. All right, we'll just clean up these uh, infantry. I mean, I probably didn't even need to do this because we have enough turrets in the area. Yeah, let's focus more on these. Everything else seems fine. Yep. For once, we didn't lose the light bridge to the attack. Only took us like five different times to actually defend that area appropriately. I'm under fire from air units. That is your job, by the way. No. I said no. Bad. I guess I could have sprung for more Nightingales, but... At this point, it's too late. We're fine. You're fine. Relax. Oh, you're fine. I guess I can send the Nightingale over there to heal him. Yeah, I don't have any other points either. I guess you have a cap on the number of, uh, like, points that you can get. Oh, shit. Oh, we have the Lotus Mines. We'll be fine. Right? Oops. No. Yeah, they're It's dead. Relax. Yeah, I want to keep that locust alive if I can. Wow, that did no damage. Well, we'll finally lose a unit for the first time in forever. We still got four minutes to go. It hasn't really felt like it's ramped up. It's pretty easy. I just have to keep moving my hornets around. That particle effect it just keeps glitching out of existence all the time. Yeah, you're fine. I guess we could use a couple more Wolverines in there too. One thing I like about this game compared to the uh, original is that the. Uh, the units don't seem as hard countery as in the original. They still are obviously like rock, paper, scissors balance, but. I don't know. It's probably fine. I'm being attacked by enemy vehicles. Eh, they're all dead, anyways. Cool. Yeah, that drop turret. I think it's placed pretty nicely. Some supplies in here we can not get the blow up anyways. Oh, I never upgraded that to an anti-air. This can be upgraded into an anti-air as well. I think we have everything else upgraded that we can get. E besides the fucking flame trooper upgrade. Whoa. Better get that. In case I ever use that unit. That's a unit that is never used. Literally never used. That mostly just destroys ghosts, I think. But, whatever. What even... Yeah, there's nothing else to do. You sent vehicles after them, actually. Uh, do we have that? No, we don't. The locusts are really the only thing you have to worry about, I think. Everything else is fairly simple. Sound off, Marines. 
Yeah, they're going after the buildings, too. Hi. Hi, by the way. Hi, by the way. Delete it immediately. I guess I'll get a Nightingale for this area. Oh, shit! Amazing. That was probably the best thing I've ever seen. Now we'll just replace the one over there that we lost, and then replace all the Banshees. Or Banshees. Leader power ready. They're really fast Reavers. Now you're thinking of the Reaver Menace. Show me where you want. Oh my god. Oh, relax. Yeah, well, we're 50 seconds away from winning, so I don't think there's a single thing we could do to lose the game at this point. Oh, wait. This isn't a... Yeah, it's... I thought that was a Hornet. It was not. That's ready now? Oh my god, they destroyed them before they armed again. Look alive, Marines. Fuck them up! I'm under attack from enemy air. Yeah, I don't really... There was like a brief moment where they were attacking my base with locusts earlier that was like... I had to wake up and actually play the game, but... Otherwise, this was a very easy mission. What an exciting mission! Oh, I only got silver, guys. With honor and courage, a well victory. Why do they give me achievements? I'm glad my face blocks most of it. It's a dumb, dumb thing. Have I ever played Reaver Menace? Yes. Occasionally. I think a few missions. Then I was just watching Jay's playthrough because I didn't really feel like playing it. Alright, well that was one mission. That was Hold the Line. A 30 minute holdout of very average difficulty uh yeah thanks for tuning in to the vod and uh i'll see you guys on the next video